The new Galaxy S23 phones are here. All you need to know about these phones plus some sample shots. We need to figure out a way to test out the night mode, so goodbye. Beautiful people, welcome to Isada's Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. I'm gonna get right into it. Samsung just announced three devices, the S23, S23 Plus, and the S23 Ultra. Now, the Samsung Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus are more or less the same devices, and in this video, we're gonna be focusing on those two phones, while the S23 Ultra is a different beast altogether. And yes, there is an S Pen. More on this Ultra on my other vid. I'll link it up here and down below. And friends, if it isn't already out, I will have that video video on the S23 Ultra, camera tour, sample shot, zoom test, it'll be out soon. Right, back to the S23 and the S23 Plus. So pre-launch, I had some time with the phones. Before we start, a quick disclaimer, these are pre-production units. What you'll be seeing are from the limited time I had with the phones. Of course, I will have more videos on these devices once I get my hands on my actual retail review units. But until then, let's get to our first look. So first of all, these phones are looking more like the Ultra now. Yes, I'm talking about that camera module. Samsung calls this the floating camera design. And we saw this previously on the S22 Ultra, also on the S23 Ultra. So we are getting less of that Iron Man looking phone. And straight to this module on the more rounded bodies of the S23s, I like the subtlety. Both the S23 and the S23 Plus come in four colors. We have the black, green, cream, lavender. The cream also looks good, but I don't know, I still like the pink one. I mean the lavender one. And is it just me? I feel like this lavender looks a little pink or do I just want it to be pink? Either way, it's a pretty color and I'm happy. Now, like I mentioned, there are two versions of this phone. There's a smaller S23 and the Goldilocks sized S23 Plus. I say Goldilocks because the S23 Ultra is still the biggest phone from this release. Personally, I'm finding the S23 to be more pocketable. Again, tiny hands. For my one-handed use, the S23 Plus was just a little too big, but the S23 was just right. The with that smaller size also come a smaller screen and a smaller battery. The S23 packs a 6.1 inch screen with a 3,900 milliamp hour battery and the S23 Plus packs a 6.6 .6 inch screen with a 4,700 milliamp hour battery. Both the S23 and the S23 Plus have increased their battery capacity by around 200 milliamp hours from the previous S22 and S22 Plus. Now aside from the size and the battery, there's really not much else different between the S23 and the S23 Plus. Both phones are running a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, which just means both phones, even the smallest one, are running on top of the line chipsets. Both phones are also supposedly more durable with both phones repping the next generation Gorilla Glass plus Armor Aluminum and also recycled glass front and back. Samsung's very big about trying to be green on this launch. Aside from the recycled glass, they're also saying they used eco-friendly dye, ocean-bound plastic for the speaker modules and the S Pen on the S23 Ultra and recycled paper on all of their packaging. Right, let's take a closer look at these two phones. the triple cam setup on the back there with the new design and it's looking very sleek. Not completely flush, but very sleek. That glass back is matte, so that means minimal smudges, yay! And I love how the light sort of gives it that matte sheen. You have a volume rocker, a power button, and yes, this is a flat screen phone as you can see on the side here. At the bottom, you have speaker grills, USB-C port, and the SIM tray. And the other side and the top are clean featuring that armor aluminum. So what else is new? Onto the fun solvers of Samsung's One UI now has video lock screens. Very fun feature. I wonder if it's coming to previous Samsung phones. Also, I could have sworn I've seen this feature on other Samsung phones before. Did I imagine that? Am I talking about video wallpapers and not video lock screens? Let me know if you know the answer down in the comments. And even more fun stuff, you can make your own GIFs, your emoticons, and stickers from your own photos. 
and we had way too much fun with this feature. Aside from that, Samsung claims that these phones are optimized for social media, meaning it'll do well with Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, which as we all know is always a concern when it comes to Android devices. Unfortunately, with my time with the phones, I wasn't able to check this out. But once I get my review units, I will be doing social media tests. Let me know if that's something you'd want to watch. Now on to the cameras. So both phones rep a 50 megapixel main shooter, a 12 megapixel wide, and a 10 megapixel telephoto shooter. Now I know we're talking about the same megapixel count as the cameras we've seen on the S22 and the S22 Plus, but Samsung talks a lot about AI improvements. And Samsung also talked about a new adaptive pixel sensor, although I'm unclear whether or not it's just on the Ultra or if we are gonna be seeing it on the S23 and S22. 23 plus either way another thing that we will be checking out once we get the review unit and before you say that these cameras aren't really anything new let me just remind you guys that we've previously seen ai do so much more to camera performance all you need to do is check out my samsung galaxy z flip 4 camera vlog test and you'll see but anyway again these are things that we'll be testing out in upcoming videos when we have our retail review units on photos you can go from wide to 1x to 3 times zoom to 30 times zoom Now you can shoot in HD 30fps but of course I'm shooting full HD 30fps. This is 1x wide, 1x, 3 times zoom and you can zoom up until 12. Ooh, look, look, look here. That's Ethan over there. Nicole. And yeah, back to wide. 60fps, this is wide, 1 times, 3 times, 12 times zoom. And this is what that looks like when stuff are far away. <laughs> Wide. Ultra HD 30 FPS this time. 1x, 3x, up until 12x. As you can see. And then back to wide wide ultra hd 60 fps for that smooth frame rate can zoom up until 2x from wide ultra hd 60 fps from 1x this time can zoom in up until 10x there you go and then back to 1x and of course this phone can do 8k 30 fps again i'm not gonna export this video in 8k but you get the idea we're trying to show you how the output looks and this can zoom up until 6x on the other hand those selfie cameras are now 12 megapixel shooters from the previous phone's 10 megapixel nice and that wide selfie is also still available in both normal and portrait photos Front-facing video, full HD 30 FPS. Full HD 60 FPS this time. We doing 4K 30 now. And 4K 60 this time around. So, we like that. We like 4K on front-facing video cameras. Back to 4K 30. Because, again, why are we not giving, like, the selfie cameras more power when we shoot a lot with selfie cameras these days? So, with these phones, Samsung claims better night video with optical image stabilization that's two times wider, better selfies at night with AI white balance, tone, and color, and also better portrait night shots. Of course, we tried it in the best way we can in the limited time we had with the phones. Okay, we're gonna try the night selfie vid. Um, default resolution, full HD, 30 FPS! This is not working. <laughs> Oh, so, <laughs> oi! Hmm. Well, oi. it One works. X. I, I look crazy, but, but considering it was yes. dark, let's try the rear camera. I have no choice but to do a Gen Z selfie. Yes. You know why we have the Gen Z selfie? 
Why? Because phones don't have good enough selfie cameras. Mm. Goodbye. Again. Again. <laughs> Selfie vid night mode. Let's go. The we're gonna we're gonna pretend we're in a bar, right? Right? Tugs, 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 tugs. I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's not bad. So nice, cute. perfect. Tugs, tugs, tugs. And of course, here are more sample shots using the phone. look at the Samsung S23 devices. If you're curious about the Samsung S23 Ultra, again, I have another video on that. I'll link it down below. Let me know what your questions are. Let me know what type of videos you want to see once I get my review units. That's it for today. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Till next time.